I'm Kirsten and welcome back to our channel. So I'm going to preference this by saying this video was shot quite, uh, probably at the beginning of summer um, and it's just now coming out. So I want to preference that by saying that. But I also wanted to explain kind of what's going on because it's kind of very, very hectic. Um, yeah, so the first thing that is actually happening is we are actually going to show you how to replace your window screens if they have holes in them, if they've been ripped, broken into, whatever. Um, we're just going to kind of show you step by step what we did to get our screen of our window fixed. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Let's just get right into this video. Alrighty, so there are some supplies that you are going to need to do this. I never explained any of them, and I don't have any to show you. Um, but you'll see them throughout the video, so um, if you see a good photo of it, you'll get an idea what they look like. But one of the things that you need is screen. So there's different types of screen out there for different kind of things. We went on one that was very durable and good for pets, because we have pets in our house. So ours is very, very thick, um, which we found is very much harder to work with than what our original screens were. Uh, you also, you may or may not, depending on if you need to replace them or not, sometimes they're fine to not have to replace. Uh, we replaced ours because ours were broken, but it is that corner piece um, that is shown in the video as well. We replaced ours, but um, you don't have to. So you could get those if you need to replace, but if you don't, you don't need it. Um, the one thing, other thing that I think of that you do, do need to have is there is this tool. It kind of looks like a double-sided pizza cutter, if you will, but one side is dull and the other side is more sharp. Um, they're, they're used for this project is specifically. So all of these in supplies can be bought in the same area of a, of a store like Menards and Home Depot, Lowe's even. Um, so yeah, I think that's all we used. So I will pop back in if I need to explain anything else. So I'm gonna say step one is to take off the screen part, which we had already done because we had to break into our house as Chris has already explained that to you, but <clears throat> we uh, just used a knife, you can use scissors, just cut off that, s that screen that is broken. That is the first step. Then the second step is Chris is taking out the rubber part that kind of holds the screen in place. He is now taking that out to get the remaining screen out. What are you doing? Right now I'm taking the rubber out. So he's fixing our screen window. The screen broke. So we're replacing the screen. Well, the screen already had holes in it. We just cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get inside our house. So, in other words, we broke into our own house. Step three, you want to then, uh, if you're replacing your corners of your window, you want to go ahead and replace those right now before you do anything else. So take out the old ones, all they, all I should do is just pop right out and then you just push in the new ones. And you basically build your window screen or your window frame. Ooh, a booty. <laughs> oh, you didn't want me to record your booty? No. 
Why? That's adult content. Oh, that's not for YouTube? No. So another thing that happened after we took out the rubber and took out all of the excess um, screen is we rolled out our roll of screen to kind of cut it to size of our window. You do want to make sure you have some extra. On all the sides you want extra fabric, or not fabric, screen. So um, you'll cut the excess off at the end, but you do want to make sure you have extra excess when you're cutting your screen. So that is what he's doing now. Okay, step five, and this is going to probably be the hardest thing ever. It took us quite a bit to get to where we were. Um, you're gonna use that little tool, that pizza roller tool. There's a side called, I think it's called scoring. Um, and you're gonna basically push uh, your screen with that tool into that groove that used to hold the rubber piece. You're gonna push the screen into that. Once you get that, I suggest do not move it because if you move it, you're messing everything back up. Okay, the next step is you're gonna take that rubber piece that you had before and you are you could also replace that if you need to need to. Um, but you're gonna take that rubber piece and you're gonna you're gonna push that with that tool. You're gonna push it into that groove with the screen as well. So you're gonna push it all the way around. It does take some time, and it is going to get frustrating. Trust us. Update, guys. Took a while. I was sweating. So now all we gotta do is cut off the excess and then put it into the window. Yep. And I guess the last step is to go ahead and stick that screen into your window and then you're done. That is how you replace a window screen. Okay guys, I know that's dirty, but we got our screen in. It's kind of weird, but it's in. Oh, I'm supposed to get a storm, apparently. And comment down below if you would like us to show you how to do house projects. Um, more in depth, this was just kind of spur of the moment, but we can do better next time. Uh, give that video a thumbs up and comment if you do or don't. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the bell notifications so you're notified when we post every Tuesday and Friday. This is King Whatever, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.